we seem to be all imprisoned in the box. What box am I referring to? I'm referring to the box of the idea that we need a single currency to do everything. That box is the one that started about 5,000 years ago in patriarchal societies. That box is not going to have any chance of resolving the major challenges that I identified already 12 years ago. Aging of society. How will you provide the elderly with the money that matches their longevity within the box? No way. Mutation to post-industrial society. The idea that everybody needs a job in order to make a living. A job being defined as something I do in order to earn the money as opposed to work, which is something I do because I'm passionate about. Jobs are not part of our future for all of humanity. We have the technologies that make jobless growth a predictable outcome. The whole Chinese development has been an acceleration of that phenomenon, not the creation of it. Climate change, species extinction, short-term thinking, we need a solution to short-term thinking at the corporate level. Can't do that within the box. Any currency with a positive interest rate, which is what conventional money by definition has to do, discounts the future. And finally, monetary stability. The system is systemically unstable because of its monoculture, because of the box. The box is what creates the instability. That's what we learned from complexity theory, from complex flow networks. So, and the final one, the concentration of wealth beyond a certain point is socially untenable. So all five of these megatrends, which were predictable, which I predicted 12 years ago, would converge, would converge in our times now, need to be solved before 2020. Because after that, the game is up. Climate change becomes auto automatic. It doesn't matter anywhere what we do at a certain point when you have positive feedback loops kicking in, methane emerging from the tundra, or the ice disappearing in the Arctic and the Antarctic will create automatic increases in temperature after we stop issuing any CO2. And the, the baby boomers, 20 years from now, either will have survived in another system or will have been squashed by the system. That's the challenges. We have a time limit. We don't have forever. When do we start?